Thank goodness for small miracles. One of the hottest days of the year. <sighs> I'm going to get the chance to play in the water. I'll be doing a complete water analysis test kit product review for the APN. Sticking to the prepper philosophy of self-reliance, self-sustainability, and independence from outside resources, that meant when I was shopping for my home, I made a point of making sure that it had its own water well. So I had my own access to drinking water that wasn't part of the municipal water supply. Having my own well has its advantages, but I still needed to know whether or not the water I had was safe. So I jumped at this chance to be able to do the product review because it enabled me to be able to test my water system and determine whether or not the water I drank, cook with, bathe with is actually safe. So let's get started here. The complete water analysis test kit from Test Assured lets you quickly and easily test your water supply for 10 of the most common contaminants found in drinking water. The clamshell box is pretty straightforward to get opened up. I wouldn't suggest it opening it until you are ready to do your testing because there's a lot of tiny bits and pieces inside. One of the first things you'll find is a small card which is your water test result ranges. It's from the EPA maximum contaminant levels. Keep that card safe. The rest of it are test instructions for a variety of the different tests. Foil package you'll find is for your drinking water test, testing pesticides and lead. Next with that is a whole multitude of tests in one package with some vials, along with the bacteria culture test. Starting off with the bacteria culture, it's a two-day test. Once you have it filed up to uh, five milliliters, cap it and make sure you don't disturb it because there's a powder that reacts to what's in there and can cause a uh, growth of bacteria. Then you get a sample of water from your sink and you start off with your drinking water test. You'll be testing for pesticides and for lead. Work your way into the vial, you'll find a package, a, a little pipette that uh, gives a pre-measured amount along with a little uh, bits and pieces along with the vial that you'll be collecting your water with and two test strips. You take two droppers full to the test vial, give it a little bit of a shake and then you add your test strips. Ten minutes later I open them up and you can lay it out and compare it to the test card that shows you your right level. In my case everything checked out good. Next up is the complicated one. It'll be the test results that test for uh, things like your pH and your hardness, as well as nitrates, nitrites, total chlorine, and copper. There's two different panels of uh, testing. It's still, you get yourself a sample, bring it up about a quarter to the height of the vial, and the first step we'll be testing is for chlorine, copper, nitrites, and nitrates. You get it in there, give it a little bit of a swirl, and immediately you're going to be testing for chlorine checking it to the card. And in this case, you can see that I was reading zero parts per million. Also for copper, the copper color indicates zero. Nitrates, uh, zero parts per million. And down below with the nitrites, again, reading zero parts per million. And we'll top off with another sample of water. And we'll be testing this time for alkalinity, pH, and hardness. So now I've got a fresh vial of water. I'll put in my test strip. The instructions say to let it sit for one second, then take it out and let it uh, sit flat for 10 seconds while the test colors react. In this case, for alkalinity, the colors was indicating that it was between 80 and 120 parts per million. For the hardness, you have to measure it around 6 to 12 grains or 100 to 200. 10 parts per million and for the pH overall between six and a half, seven or eight. That's in the mid scale of the pH range. Next up is for iron test. You drop in the little regent tablet, cap the vial and give it a good shake to dissolve the regent. Once it's totally dissolved then you'll take your test strip, take it out and read it off the scale. In my case, I'm iron free. Now you forgot the bacteria test after two days. Now I'm going to read the bacteria test with a drum roll 
and I got a negative result. The purple color shown. If it was yellow, I would have had some bacteria and I'd have something to worry about. Well, the test results showed that outside of perhaps buying a water softener, the water I have in my house is safe and clean. I highly recommend this complete water analysis test kit because it's given me the peace of mind I've been looking for. In the meantime, I'm going to kick back and enjoy the evening, have myself a glass of homemade iced tea. Oh, this is Bob Hawkins for APN Product Review.